Available from IBM exclusively during our centennial celebration, Access My NYC application is simple, accessible, and on-the-go city navigation, right from your smartphone. Access My NYC is a web-based application using HTML and HTML5 focused on enhancing the New York City's transit, access, and tourism experience for people with disabilities. The focus was in form of designing the application according to WCAG 2.0 accessibility guidelines and providing access to real-time and static information. In addition, the application was designed to leverage accessible features and functionality available today in the iPhone and Android devices. In summary, the application allows users to search for various methods of accessible public and private transportation, identify and rate points of interest within the city, plan a public transit route, add to favorites, and allows for social media integration. All of these features are focused on providing the user with a way to access ADA accessible information. IBM Solutions help cities aggregate data using thought leadership. Consistent with IBM's Smarter City initiatives, this application, built using IBM middleware and other IBM assets such as the Intelligent Pervasive Platform, is evidence that a smarter planet is everywhere and people are more mobile than ever. Let us take you through a demonstration. Sarah Jones, a businesswoman who happens to be a wheelchair user, is planning a business trip to New York City. Sarah hears about the Access My NYC mobile application during a promotion from IBM. She opens the Access My NYC application and then adds it to her iPhone home screen. Being a first-time user of this application, Sarah visits her profile and learns that she can set an ability filter that will allow the app to filter information relevant to a specific physical impairment. Sarah selects, I have a mobility impairment. Sarah uses the Access My NYC app to review options for private airport transportation and to reserve a shuttle from the airport to her hotel, the Four Seasons. She can view information for shuttle providers such as the Super Shuttle, including accessibility information. She can also contact the provider via phone or visit their website to make a reservation. While Sarah is waiting at the airport, she decides to check out accessibility information relating to her hotel, the Four Seasons. She views the accommodations category in the points of interest section and then finds the Four Seasons Hotel. She views the accessibility feature section and notes that mobility information is foregrounded as a result of the ability filter. Vision and hearing information is also available. Sarah recalls the original promotion from IBM and reviews information about the IBM Think exhibit, which is happening at the Lincoln Center during her stay in New York City. Sarah accesses the information about this exhibit and makes plans to attend during one of the sessions open to the general public. Sarah is also able to view accessibility information. Sarah has checked into the Four Seasons Hotel and has decided that she has little time for sightseeing. She decides to visit the Empire State Building. She uses the Planner Route function in the mobile app to find options on how to get there. Since the walking route is 37 minutes by foot, Sarah checks out the public transit route. Sarah notes that the entire route is ADA accessible. She clicks on the View Station Details by Lexington Avenue to view accessibility information. By clicking on the service message, Sarah is able to see if there is any service outages at that station. This list also provides other information such as accessibility overview and accessible entrances and exits. The map view provides a visual of which exits and entrances are accessible. These are identified by wheelchair icons, while the non-accessible entrances are displayed as a red star.
Returning back to the, the route list, you can click on the map toggle to see the route on the map. Sarah is also able to reverse the route in order for her to get home. After doing some sightseeing, Sarah decides to find a restaurant near her. In the point of interest section, she can click on view points of interest near me button, which will list all the point of interest within a half a mile radius, or she can use the category section under dining. She looks for and finds some ex excellent accessible dining options. Sarah really enjoyed her dinner and decides to add this restaurant to her favorites. She then realizes that she's also able to rate the accessibility and decides to do so. She's able to rate by three different accessible categories, physical accessibility, information accessibility, and customer service. She also would like to share this with her friends and decides to tweet about it. Sarah is able to review her favorites in the favorite section. She can from there plan a route to and from these point of interest. Sarah has a blind colleague who learns about the Access My NYC application. He uses an iPhone with voiceover. Because the app has been designed for accessibility, he is able to use that access feature to navigate and gain information from the app using gestures and speech output. In the iPhone setting, under General, in the Accessibility Features section, VoiceOver can be turned on. This will enable the three-finger scroll and the double tap to navigate through the links. Try it today on your iPhone. Thank you very much, everyone, for going through this Access My NYC demo. For more information, please visit our website at www.ibm.com slash able or contact John Evans at evansjw at us.ibm.com.